In today's video, I would like to talk about what do producers look for in a screenplay. I'm sharing with you my experience. I've been pitching to well over 17 producers in 17 countries in North America, um, including Hollywood producers such as Universal Studios, my, my concepts. I traveled to field markets and promoted my media kits. And finally, I was able to secure distribution agreements for one of my feature film projects, which is uh, in pre-production. Many screenplay writers, especially the new ones, think that if the concept is great, then they buy it and they will tweak it or rewrite it. Wrong. They want a completely ready product without going through the hassle of rewriting because it costs money too. And producers are not rich. Every penny counts in film production. So your, your screenplay should be formatted properly without any typos, any spelling mistakes, any grammar errors and should be formatted correctly. And you have to make sure that your scenes are tight. Your dialogues are so snappy, like Tarantino movies. I mean, that's an example you can write, whatever you like, I mean, love story, whatever, that's just an example and make sure that your description free from adverbs and the thing in the screenplay writing is your actor should be appealing if your script reads well enough that a producer can comfortably get through the whole screenplay, there are no other issues that they, they will think about. One factor that shows a producer that a script could be a successful movie is actor appeal. Your script will have big name bankable actors fighting over it. So go ahead and write juicy, complex characters with interesting dialogues to make an actor each to dive in. Your genre must be clear. Everybody should get it, what it's all about. Of course, different producers will prefer different genre, but all will seek a film with a clear genre normally determined by the log line. I have explained about log line in my previous video. If you check it out, about pitching. Based on my experience, producers, especially in Hollywood, don't buy low budget movies, screenplays. That doesn't mean that you have you you go and say, okay. This costs $10 million. It doesn't work that way because they have been making so many films. They look at the script and they can estimate how much budget that the script has. If you can make this, make the feature film with, let's say, below $1 million. And, or if you, I mean, it all depends on the budgeting. So you have to make sure to learn if you don't know budgeting of a film. So you can't sell a movie 
a screenplay of a movie that can be done with $300,000 for $5 million. It doesn't work that way. And a new screenwriter on the scene, it just wouldn't be financially responsible for a producer to spend hundreds of millions or even over 10 million on your script. So you have to think twice before pitching. So don't pitch scripts that can be done with low budget, below $1 million. And don't pitch screenplays with over well, a very high budget, over $10 million. Some producers accept $5 million, I mean, screenplays with budget of well over $5 million. Some others prefer $10 million. They usually tell you what kind of budgets they're interested in. And there are some aspects in production that you have to be careful when you write your story, your screenplay, try avoiding elements such as too many animals, too many children, characters, difficult weather, busy locations, and too many stunts. You know what? For example, busy location involves with, you have to contact with the police authorities. It has very high insurance uh, fee and and um, the weather condition, I mean, it's, it becomes very difficult to shoot. So it's, it is very important that your film logistically feasible script that can be shot within a reasonable time period. And it's very important to be likable. A producer is not going to pick up your script if you are a nightmare to work with. So be co collaborative, be nice to producers. So the communication and the way you communicate with producers is very important in getting them like you and feeling that they can work with you. Your story should be high concept. And everybody is talking about it these days. What does it mean? It means something that is easily explained and understood without any questions asked. So, for example, films like Titanic. It's a high concept. Everybody loves it. Usually James Cameron movies are high concept movies. And I love his movies. And the majority of his characters in his movies resonate with me. Your screenplay should have a clear market. It is much easier to figure out how to sell a film to teenage boys, stay at home moms or children. So one of the best way to have a clear market for your script is to write within a certain genre. And of course, for example, I love the writing horror screenplays and fantasy horror. And the majority, my I have a screenplay. It's about it's fan, fantasy and some sort of epic fantasy film. I love it. It's high concept and it's bankable and high budget film. There are some screenplays that are really matter now. People want to go movies to reflect them and their current state. So, but these, the trend today is, uh, beside from reality shows, 
are concepts that are easy to make, not too many characters in there, like Gravity, Sandra Bullock played in it. And something that doesn't require too much hassles in, in production.